Hello and welcome to day four of Win Messi Speaks 2024. I know it's a packed session as we put our faith to work. If you know anyone who needs to be on the call, kindly do well to send them the link and invite them to be here as we place a request by faith on those things that rightfully belong to us. Have you long due for employment? Have you lost the property? Or have you been unfairly treated or cheated? Write down your request. This is faith clinic, and we are possessing our possession. When Mercy speaks, it's a 47 day battery linked in prayer, powered by the Youth Fellowship of Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church, Similarly District Headquarters, IONU. The program runs through 6 30 a.m. to 7 a.m. daily on Zoom, MixLR, Facebook, and YouTube at CNSYF. It is our prayer that the mercies of God that never runs out to be renewed in our lives every morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, we'll be taking our cue from the book of Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17 as we examine the topic, Possess Your Possession. With great joy in our hearts, let's make welcome our minister for today, a prophet and a man of God, in person of Prophet Kola Adebayo. You're welcome, sir. Good morning. Good morning, all. Good morning, all listener. Morning, I bless man. the name of God for giving us this wonderful privilege to witness the day four of when Mercy speaks in year 2004. It's a very big privilege. I pray in the name of Jesus that in every situation of our life, the mercy of God shall speak for us. Grace will Amen. locate us. Opportunity Amen. will find us. I want us to realize Amen. something. When mercy of God speaks over one's life, Every lost possession of that person will find him or her back. And I declare, mercy will speak in your life. And every yeah. lost possession, every good things you've lost, it shall be restored back to you in the name of Jesus. Glory, yeah. glory, glory, glory be to God. It's a wonderful privilege. And our topic, as, like, as rightly introduced, is when is that you will possess your possession. The text is speak from the book of Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. He said, O Mount Sinai, there shall be deliverance and it shall be holy. He said, the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Ti wipe o ti pada nu kan yen abi ati fi owo epa gba nkan kan lo lowo e gbogbo nti ati fi owo epa gba lo lowo e gbogbo nti satani ti fi ete gba lo lowo e lo na yi anu olorun o ma da pada fun e loruko jesu mo fe ka sha kese awon nkan kan ko to di wipe awo nu adua wa lo and i will beg you i want you to have your substance behind you if you have a water, you can get the water and your and your anointing oil. Even if you can't get anointing oil, even if it's just your cook, if you're cooking oil, God wants to do great things in your life today. So this is what we are going to do. So this is what we are going to do. So this is what we are going to do. So this is what we are going to do. Genesis, from verse 28. Bibeli so fun wa oni negbati Olorun da eniyan ton o su ire kan fun wa you understand is an instruction is a blessing from our creator oni ka bisi ka resi ka gbile ka se ka wo oni ka se sakoso so anything ba wa wa short of that ninu aye eni keni wa o tu mo si wi pe ire ti Olorun su fun wa negba akoko yen ninu eden eyan o tu mo si wi pe eniyan ti pa eniyan ti padanu eniyan any yet a padan when any old and latin papada because lies see ring and could soon really thin in your leg, wishing in why ye taba will only cabisi it to two men, they will be any two bad loco to liar on latin bisi. You understand? It to my only cash a cab bill, it to men, they will be you need to take charge. Nino Bubun Cotton she in your undertaking, there is need for you to prosper. Prosperity is part of your inheritance. You understand? Among it is good health. Good health is part of your inheritance. God does not create you that you should live a sick life. 
ko sinu pinu olorun fun wa wipe ka ma ni ayo igbeyawo ko sinu pinu olorun fun wa wipe ka sise ka ma ni ri ko sinu pe olorun fun wa wipe ka ma gbegbe aye ronun gbogbo to ba ya to si eleyi a je wipe ipinu ti esu ni esu lo mu wa ko kin se olorun o nkan ti mu de fe ka mo bibeli so ninu we isaiah ni fourth chapter 43 ni verse 7 re o ni gbogbo to n da lo n da togo togo o lo n de se pe so bi ai pe ba wa wa o tun mo si wipe ki sha to do olorun o tun mo si pe ai se pe pe ai se pe ai se pe yen ki sha do olorun o n tun wa to n ri yen to de jo n rere to de da bi ohun alo mo ni fun e o tun mo si wipe ki se odo olorun lo ti padanu e nkan lo sele bibeli so fun wa ninu we revelation ninu we revelation ni chapter chapter 12 ni verse 7 e ologun si be ni orun O ni an e satani ati awon ogun e won jagun o ni won ja awon o le isegun o na wa le won da si aye ibi ti ipile ogun ti bere ni yen that is how you begin to lose the possession that you possess because the battle in heaven satan lose it and it was cast on heart satan is on the heart you understand in to the wa se laye ni we pe o wa ba wa eyan jagun in order to overcome us and those that he has is overcoming those were the people that are losing their possession I pray in the name of Jesus, was so enemy has taken away from your life. It shall be restored back to you today in the name of Jesus. The sure mercy of God shall speak for you in all areas in Jesus' mighty name. You understand? But you need to do something because you have a grace today. The grace you have is that you are partaker of this great program because mercy is ready to speak for you. It means that God is ready to restore back to you all that you have lost. But before things can be restored, you need to first realize that you lost something. And it will be bad enough to go and come. Unless you come and walk with me, you bad enough to come. To be able to walk with me, you bad enough to come. Then you can talk bad enough. You should be able to identify what your problem is. When you identify your problem or your challenges, your problem is half solved. Anu Olorun a fo hun gbogbo yerira loruko Jesu Olorun a mu kuro ogun Olorun de ma fara hun ninu aye wa ri fowo kan Olorun Jesu a pa lerin ayo ni oruko Jesu Kristi Oluwa wa Amen Are you getting me So o nla ti koko realize e to ba realize e igbe ipese akoko ni yen igbese to ku ni wipe ko Olorun ko wa fowo gbo ileri atoro agbara olorun a fo ninu aye mo fe wo igbe aye niyan kan tin fi sha ka fi sha pere ninu bibeli eni ti agba ikulo e pada you understand and that is david king david in the book of first samuel in psalm 30 ta ba wo isele to se le nbe yen david yi lo lati lo darapo ma wo mo philistine lati ba israeli ja ko to di wipe pada de awon ta ti de won ti wa won ti wa sinu city inu abule won ti ko gbogbo won ti won ni atomo ataya ati duki agbogbo eni won ko lo iruko won ni won na wa satani le ti gba won na le re ota le ti lo e lowo gba boyun ti eni seti o ti o ti sise o ti lo li eko o gba e won o gba o gba won o gba won iwe eri be iwe eri yen o mu ere kan kan wa fun e o fi sise you understand you are not working with that certificate Mm, time for you to restore time of your restoration time of your repositioning has come says the lord god of hosts and the short mercy of god we speak for you in the name of jesus or oh, you have been in a marriage you have been in a relationship no child nothing to show for it you understand your time of compensation has come because today mercy will speak for you and it will find you in the name of jesus you understand? God will reposition you. Mercy will speak for you. You've made effort and nothing has showed forth. In as much as in the plan of God for you to embark in that journey, mercy will speak for you in the name of Jesus. But David did something before he recovered. He asked God. He said, can I pursue? God said, pursue. He said, will I catch up? God said, he will catch up. He said, will I recover? God said, he will recover. And truly, he launched, he pursued, he catch up, and he recover. I pray this morning that in every area that you've lost possession as well, I release grace upon you to pursue. I release the grace for you to catch up. I release the grace upon you to recover in the name of Jesus. 
you will begin to recover your possession. You will begin to recover all that you've lost. That glory, that health, that in the name of Jesus, you begin to recover them in the name of Jesus. As the Spirit of God is ministering to me, there is somebody under this ministration. You've lost control of your child, the custody of your child, you've lost it. Oh, la shelluri omo yemo. Omo yemo da bi kweku boros yele no mo ibi a ye uwe. O kuru nubai, o kwe kumbai. Olo no neke sofo elu ne po uma bafo e pada. Olo no neke sofo elu ne po uma bafo e pada. Anu olo, awa iru omo yeri. Yona sa, o mo olo no ma luka bubu a ye ne. Under the influence of any power that child is. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Spirit of God will take over of him and bring him back to you in the name of Jesus. The sure mercy of God shall rest upon you. You will go from strength to strength and from power to power in the name of Jesus. But there's something, there are few things we need to do. The book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, says something. Uniko sene to wole alagbara lo ti ki se pe boyo ma koko di ni gbe kun you understand olo ma koko de if you don't bind the strong man there is no how you can have exploit there is no how you can loot him of his blessing it means that you understand it means that the strong man of your life need to be bind and that strong man in your life are related to sin iru gbe aye to gbe ti o te olorun olorun iru wa to ngu ti o te olorun olorun ọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọrùnọlọ
concerning all your challenges, all your trouble, whatsoever your pains may be, by virtue and the power of God, by the reason of this anointing and this water, I declare in the name of Jesus, let those problems disappear in the name of Jesus. I send the name of the Lord to the source of your problem. I want you to pray now. I want you to tell God now. Tell God I'm sorry. Tell him I'm sorry. In every area you have wronged him. Tell him you are sorry. Tell him you are sorry. So for we come Let him know you need his help. Cry for help. There is need to cry for help. For one to possess his possession, they need to call for help. Cry for God help now. Cry for God help. Ask God to come to your help. Ask God to come to your head. Ask God to show himself strong in your life. And you will testify to the glory of God. You will testify to the glory of God. You will testify to the glory of God. Oh, yeah, tell God now, what are the possessions that you've lost? What is that thing that you want to recover? I want you to speak to God. Father, all what enemy has taken away from me, my joy, my health, my happiness, my job, my husband, my wife, you understand? My wife, my job, my wife, Father, restore them back to me. I hope somebody is praying. I hope somebody is praying. That person that has not been working with his or her certificate, God said you should pray this prayer intensively. Oh, oh you have the certificate, you understand, but you are not using it. And that certificate is classic. And the job you are doing is not that is not even fulfilling. You understand? It's not, it's not fulfilling. It's not even not enough to take care of you, not to talk to take care of family. Talk to God. Talk to God. Ask God to take to restore back to you what the enemy has taken. Ask God to restore back to you what the enemy has taken. The glory of God will rest upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I declare in the name of Jesus. Is that what I'm with you? Is that all with you? The power of the Mosai God, I pray every particles that makes up that water, that makes up this oil, receive the power of God. We pray in the name of Jesus, let this oil, let this water become water of power. Let it become water of healing. Let it become water of deliverance. Let it become water of restoration. Every dry, everything that we say is dry. Either life, either land, whatsoever that is dry, even if it has dead, by the touching of this water or this oil, let life restore back to them in the name of Jesus. Let them receive life back in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare, let this water become, let this water and oil become the water and the oil of miracle. By virtue of this water and this oil, let us testify to your name. Let your mercy go with us. As we're going out this morning, let your mercy go with us. Let your sure mercy abide with us. In every area we face, in the name of Jesus, we take charge. From, from now on, you begin to rule. You begin to dominate. You take possession of what the enemy has taken from you. In the name of Jesus, that family cause, that generational cause is destroyed by virtue of this oil. The mercy of God will abide with you. You go from power to power and from strength to strength. Jehovah will fill your heart with plenty. Your heart will be satisfied in the name of Jesus. You shall be satisfied with plenty. In Jesus' 
mighty name we pray. That water, you use it, anoint it, use it to anoint yourself, anoint your house. If you have, if you are the person that have that child, you understand, let the water charge you because why Jerry see a bar alone in the area at your lawn could if you're silly, then you go go why you are shaking law. The mercy of God shall speak for you in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, are your name. Glory be to God in the highest for that powerful session. Indeed, we can say that God is truly restoring back to us all that we have lost. Our time of conversation is here. We appreciate our minister for today in person of Prophet Kola Jibayo and our father, the shepherd, for that powerful grace. We also appreciate everyone for availing yourself this morning. It is our prayer that even as we go together in this new day, as we've practically put our faith to work, the mercy of the Lord will continually speak for us and our expectations will not be cut short in Jesus' name. Kindly do well to also share our flyers with your friends, families, and colleagues, and to also check our social media handles at CNSYF for nuggets that stir up our spirit. On that note, we want to wish us all a wonderful day ahead. Are you new? <laughs>